Okay, good morning. <clears throat> Today I'm headed out of, well, I'm just outside Eureka. I'm gonna walk the first few minutes because my sciatica is bothering me a bit this morning. And usually if I walk for a little bit first, it helps out. Pretty gray day today. It's all right though. And I'm gonna zip through Eureka. It's already 10.30, so I'm in for a long day. So I think I have about 100K to do <clears throat> to the campground I wanna get to, which is just past Myers Flats. I'll be going down the Avenue of Giants today. Um, so kind of a dedicated side road along the 101 through the Redwoods. And I'm gonna stop and get some dinner for tonight it's in Eureka. And I might even get a coffee, so I'm probably not gonna be on the road till close to noon today. But that's okay. I got nothing but time. There we go. Yeah, all right. I figured I'd get too impatient. Oh, yeah. Sometimes that's tough. Alright, time to ride. on the 101 out of Eureka on the Pelco Marsh Trail which is sweet. I think it more or less is paralleling it. Um, I'll be back on the highway soon but for now I have this awesome little side trail which kind of follows on the north end of Eureka the waterfront and then it loops all the way west and then south debris to avoid. Uh, but yeah, this road is super smooth. I got the wind helping me. Now, it's a good ride today. Good ride. Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? Baby. More dying. 
little side route through uh, Rio del where they have I don't know what that is that one I couldn't figure out Very slight detour off the highway. Look at this beauty road. Nothing like a smooth road. No, you're, you're good. <laughs> How you doing? Good. All right, so I'm in the Humboldt Redwood State Park. We're basically gonna be following that all the way down. Goodbye 101. Hello Avenue of Giants. Woo! It's unfortunate there's some desecration there to the star. But something you don't see really in Canada at all is any memorials or anything. Almost every highway and byway, everything is dedicated to someone. You really do see how much more Americans appreciate their armed forces much much more so i'm here I'm gonna follow this all the way down not going this way continue down and this is where i'm headed tonight hidden springs campground and then next day south of the map so they've got this excellent Avenue of Giants auto tour. I'm gonna do it, not auto, but same way. Um, and it's numbered, so we go from north to south, so we go reverse, so eight, seven, stop number six, five, four, three is a big one, Visitor center, two, and one. From where I came to where I go. Hello. We already have a campground of some sort here, or a living situation. I don't really know. No visitors. I guess it's more or less uh, people have just taken it over and live in there as their land. The corn crib. The corn crib looks closed. So found this giant piece of corn. It says to Pepperwood and its loved ones. Gone but not forgotten. Presented by. Fortuna Chamber of Commerce. 
or it looks like something from Harry Potter that you'd take to get down to the Ministry of Magic. Okay. Okay, 17 miles to Myers Flat, it's me tonight. 239 miles to San Francisco on the 101. Um, I'll be heading out to the 1, so it's probably a little bit more than that. Uh, almost for sure. Oh, that'll be a cool photo. Very good. known as the Immortal Tree. Original height, 298 feet. Current height, of the water in a few K from camp and still rolling through the redwoods. All right. Camp for the night. Good looking spot. Food. <clears throat> but did grab this honker. Bud Light Chilada. It's got Clamato. I'm gonna get this tomato juice, actual Clamato. Um, which is something I'm a big fan of here in Clam. <clears throat> so I'm feeling like I need it after today. It's also at my That's good. I'm gonna fire up the stove. This is the steed. It's holding steady. Close to a thousand miles in. A thousand left to go. Time to eat. All right. In case you wondered what camp looks like, or like the setting up. 
First thing I do is just unload everything. There's a picnic table. It's just all kind of get strewn about. Very first thing I do is get the tent erected to this point. I keep the fly off just because it's easier to put stuff in. And I'll come over and get my stove going with my water to boil. I'm just having some basically ramen soup tonight. <clears throat> Nothing fancy. So crank this. Until it's lit, there's a little orange wire it goes. You can kind of see right there. That's why you know it's on. It screws on. And like that. While that's boiling, um, I get out my do like sleeping bag, sleeping pad. Got my new pillow I get to try out tonight. It's supposed to be a whole inch and a half thicker than my old one, so that's gonna be really good. Um, yeah, I just start kind of getting all that stuff and laying it out in the tent so it can air out and sleeping bag can gain some loft. And uh, yeah, just kind of prepare the tent if the water boils. Unless I go. Just like that, dinner is served. I have some beef jerky that I'm or bison jerky that I'm going to toss in there and you can also see mattress is inflated silk liner sleeping quilt all out and I always unzip and zip up the mosquitoes um, mosquitoes are probably the worst they've been in quite a while it's been too cold the last few nights but you know there's only ever probably three or four kind of buzzing around so it's not too bad but they're getting a bit annoying so I think I'm just gonna eat get everything in the bear locker and then shower and jump in bed and maybe watch some Obi-Wan another thing I do I just have a very skinny four foot cable lock <clears throat> um, I just try and secure the bike to something very unlikely anyone would take it but you know it's not hard for someone to walk off with a bike that's insecure so Basically, if they don't have any tools, if they're not prepared to steal a bike, then it's really not going to go anywhere. 